What's up, what's happening, what is going on, cantaloupes? Literally the reason I went into the profession that I did is because I had all of these cool dreams as a sports fan, as a kid, and uh, I wanted to live them. And how do I do that? Well, I get into sports as a profession. And now I get to do these awesome things and get paid to do it. And they're still dreams come true. These are 10 things any sports fan would consider a dream come true. Get a selfie with favorite athletes. Okay, so maybe this one is somewhat new, right? Uh, I, I didn't have a chance to take a selfie with Tino Martinez when he was my favorite baseball player growing up. But nowadays, all you really have to do, stick out the phone, even while they're like running uh, off the field or whatever it may be. Some of the biggest stars will all take selfies with you. And now the chance to showcase that stuff on social media oh dream come true for any fan who wants a little clout play against your favorite athlete maybe not play against but maybe play with i used to have like these dreams that i would uh become like a free throw specialist in the nba because i knew i wasn't good enough to be in any other uh, facet of the nba so i used to practice my free throws and just like picture like coming onto the court in, in place of like kobe bryant when they needed a a key free throw i should say probably like shaq it would make more sense for Shaq to come out, me to come in and just play with my favorite athletes. Maybe weird, but hey, I'm a realist. I uh, didn't think I was going to be a professional athlete, so here I am. Get a signed autograph. Autographs might be cooler than uh, pictures if you think that having value to something, actual value where you could sell it, Hey, that's a huge part of sports culture for a lot of people. It is a moment that can be cherished forever. Uh, one time for me, uh, I met Alex Rios when he was a Toronto Blue Jay in the Blue Jays hotel. You know how their, their stadium has a hotel in it? Well, I was staying there one day. My brother made me uh, go in there and ask for an autograph. He was the rookie of the year that year. Maybe he wasn't, but he was really good, and maybe I made that up, but no, I have the autograph somewhere. Throw out the first pitch, whether it be a first pitch or a dropping of the puck or a ceremonial tip-off or a, a, a coin toss, whatever it may be, this is probably the closest anybody is ever going to get onto the field and performing a actual important moment during a game, uh, whether it be five-year-olds, uh, uh, veterans, um, whatever it may be, uh, this is probably the pinnacle moment that any fan could ever dream of accomplishing and only a few of us ever get to. I'm not there yet, although one day, oh wow, that would be so cool. I don't think I've ever actually thought about that. That would be so cool. If anybody owns a sports team and wants me, I don't know why you would want me to do it, but if you would want me to do it, let me know. I'll come out throw your first pitch. Hey, maybe even a little league game, whatever. Little league. Help your team win. I don't know if you guys remember this, but when I was a kid, there was this other kid named Jeffrey Meyer uh, or Mayer, something like that. He was 12 years old when during the ALCS, he basically granted Derek Jeter a home run that shouldn't have gone out. Uh, but he became a hero in New York media and to Yankee fans all around the world. Uh, the ref absolutely blew the call. That being said, Jeffrey will always live in Yankees lore. Probably should have a shrine in Legends Field. Uh, 1996 was the start of a Yankees dynasty. It's a huge home run. Without Jeffrey, does it happen? Yeah, probably, but uh, he peaked when he was 12 years old. Unless anybody knows what he's doing now. Visit every arena and stadium for a single sport. Uh, this is kind of like my ultimate dream. Uh, I love sports and I love travel. So you try to fit in as many games, as many arenas as you possibly can around the world because sports culture is so, so 
important and everybody loves to travel. So you put those things together, you get to see the atmosphere, uh, even if not just in the United States, all around the world, you get to see the culture of, of what people love, their chants, everything. Oh man, like could you think of a better way to vacation or to road trip with your friends? I love this list. I love making this list right now. Hang out with the team for a day. Uh, I've gotten to spend some time in press rooms and whatever else and, and with some NASCAR drivers, uh, a couple MLB players. Uh, and it's always a really cool experience. Uh, my brother, actually, he worked for the Marlins and during the World Baseball Classic, got to hang out with all of the people on uh, the Dominican team. Robinson Cano actually asked him something in Spanish. My brother doesn't speak Spanish. And then Robinson Cano was like, why are you in this locker room if you don't speak Spanish? I forget what my brother says, but honestly, that was a really fair point. Really, really fair point. My brother should not have been in that locker room. It's a scary experience, I'll tell you that. But it's fun when those players are actually kind of nice. And I'm sure that anybody, oh, actually, my dad went to Yankee fantasy camp too. Is this even a list or am I just talking? <laughs> catch a home run ball. I guess you could, you could also put this up with catch a soccer ball or catch a field goal or I don't know, basketballs don't really go into the stands too often. Uh, pucks, hockey pucks get out there, sticks get out there. Chances are like maybe like three and 50,000, right? Something like that, sell that stuff. But come on, you think about the moment, the pressure, you see it coming towards you. This is your moment to shine because you know the entire stadium is going to cheer if you make a great catch and you go and you're ready and you're ready and you're ready. And it might be like 50 rows behind you <laughs> or, or, or just a regular fly out or just a regular foul ball. But you know what? I'm ready for it each time. Win season tickets. Season tickets are really, really expensive, but they're a way of showcasing just how big of a fan you really are. Uh, you can go to one or two games a year and that's cool, but what about if you had your seat for every home game and you got to know all the people around you in your section and you got to create a little bit of a family through the team that you love. Sign me up whenever I have the money for it. See your team win a championship live. I would take just seeing my team win a championship in general. Hell, I'd listen to my team win a championship on the radio. I'd read about it in the news afterwards and be ecstatic. Um, but to be able to be there during a Super Bowl, World Series, NBA Finals, Stanley Cup Finals, World Cup Final, whatever it may be, and get to see the team that you've rooted so hard, so long for, with so many years of misery, <laughs> heartbreak, failure. Oh, I'm almost crying thinking about it. It's like the season finale of a show, you know it's usually going to end well and everybody's gonna be happy, but now I could speak as a Dolphins fan. This is 23 years in the making. This is a 23 year season finale I've been waiting for and it's not gonna be coming anytime soon, but man, I'm gonna love the moment that happens and I wanna be there live. Oh, this was the coolest list I've ever done. I should do more like this where it's not really about any sort of stat at all, kind of about me, <laughs> what I love. Reminds me of what I love to be a sports fan, what we love to do every day. So that's that's really awesome. Uh, until next time, I'm Mike Cantalupo. Thanks for watching me talk about sports all the time and letting me get paid to do it and, and do cool things. Until next time, yep, I'm Mike Cantalupo. Thanks for watching.